I would think it, it breaks down on a, on a number of different levels. I think access to high definition uh, video systems is is to, set to become ubiquitous uh, to all people. I think that uh, video conferencing is now becoming mobile as well uh, in uh, as more people have access to devices that can run the particular service, such as smartphones, tablets, and so forth. Uh, I would also think that quality, uh, a lot of people would attest that historically video conferencing, the images were quite fuzzy. Now it's uh, high definition, the image quality is uh, far superior. So people's experience of that is better, therefore they will use it uh, more often uh, in their daily work. I would think as well that a move towards a more software-based model as well, where you will see users uh, moving away from traditional room-based systems, they will still have, very much have their place, but uh, that they would again have their access to their tablets and mobiles uh, devices as well. And finally, I, I would think as well, a, a move away from the view of that, that is very much the preserve of large enterprise, that people will use it in for other applications. Uh, we are working with, on a number of projects within healthcare to allow patients to connect to doctors remotely. Uh, and also uh, within education to extend the reach of uh, typically within the third level institutions that extend the reach of the classroom facilitating modules between different universities but still allowing a student to attain a PhD. Well I think that people have again, you come to the back point, there are so many devices there that can, can run applications uh, on, you know, for standards based video. Polycom have a free download app for iPads and uh, iPhones, giving them high definition, high quality uh, video conferencing, allowing them to connect to the enterprise systems. Also with, our, with a move towards uh, cloud-based services, you know, everyone talks about cloud, the market is growing exponentially, that users do not necessarily have to have their own infrastructure to facilitate large-scale video within their enterprise. And I think that is really what's driving it. That you have rooms connecting to tablets, to iPhones, to laptops. So again, if um, you, you think of video usage within the enterprise, there is a view that, oh, it's going to take up an awful lot of bandwidth across my network. What's the impact that's going to have on critical applications, ERP, and so forth? So we at Polycom, with our Real Presence platform and software, we have some very smart uh, compression algorithms. We can run point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint calls over about half a meg uh, of bandwidth. So we're not going to take up an enormous amount of bandwidth, be that, be that either at home or on the corporate WAN to facilitate the communication. I think that uh, the, it's going to continue to grow. I think that many organizations are now, again, looking at facilitating uh, more home working, remote working. Studies show that people are far more productive working from home than they are uh, stuck in an office. I think a, a flexibility around that um, and, and video will be part of that trend, it'll allowing uh, users or, or workers to connect together, to collaborate without necessarily having to be physically uh, together. I think uh, an enormous part of that will be interoperability. Uh, we at Polycom uh, facilitate that, allowing users on a number of different clients, be that IBM Same Time, Microsoft Link, uh, H323, all to connect together seamlessly uh, and again to, to drive that collaboration between users. I think as well to come back to the point about how it's moving from large enterprise into other areas, I think that um, again you'll see greater use of it within education and I would see that moving beyond you know third level into second level uh, education, students connecting for particular types of classes over video, um, as well within healthcare allowing, you look at targets that people have around care in the community, that video can really facilitate that, that you, you don't necessarily have to take that patient to a hospital to complete uh, reviews. They could be quite simple. I know that uh, some of our customers are having huge success with uh, treatment of childhood obesity, that the child may not necessarily be too eager to go into the hospital. It would be quite apparent why the person is in that. If they have a uh, a, a simple telephone call to that, the child could say, yes, I am eating. That might necessarily be the case. So if you can blend working in the, the treatment in the community with the visual aspect of it, the, the rates, the, the treatment rates, the same success is significantly higher in that regard.